Hi everyone, it's Tarot Day! I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and thanks for joining me. Okay, special tarot, because what is this week? Today's tarot that I'm going to do encompasses from now, today, Sunday the 19th of December, and it goes through till da, 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 December 25th, which is Christmas Day. Now, as you know, I always do a prep before I do my tarot. And while I was just doing my singing bowl and going through all my raising my vibration exercises and connecting to my lady as well as the source, I was told you must do more videos this week because everybody's feeling it. So some of the videos that I'm going to do, one is about expectations, how we always have expectations at Christmas time. So please know that video will be coming out in the next few days. Okay, so that's a doozy that I'll start with just that one. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and the like button because the silly season is now upon us. And, you know, it's always been called the silly season, right? So this week coming, it's going to bring out a lot of silliness with people because of all the mandates, etc. else that's going on around the planet where people are really going into that silly season overdrive, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so without talking about other things, let's get into today's tarot. Now, when I do my wow I've just looked at my tarot deck and there's a card there I've just oh my gosh here's my normal tarot deck and the card that's on the top is the upside down death card I wonder if that's a meaning if that's significant because usually I put my cards down face down that way. But today I put them down that way with the death card upside down. So maybe have a look at that one, guys, and what that one means, okay? What does the death card mean in tarot when it's inverted upside down, okay? In fact, let's do it straight away just in case there's already a message that they're trying to send me. So it's number 13 in the major rancada. So let's go up to number 13. Where's my major in Carter cards in this book? Okay, uh, there's 17, 15. Death when it's upside down. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, well, it basically means the death card is a release card it's releasing okay it doesn't mean a death is coming it usually means changes and it means it signifies that doors close and you um, windows open okay so the death card is not generally seen as someone's going to die okay but what that card does represent you know I actually say it's a good card in the tarot deck because it usually means things are going to stop now when we look at society what are things that can stop you may move your house, okay? You may change your job or lose your job so then you've got to start looking for a new one. You may change a car. You may get a new partner. You may get a new pet. So it's the end of something to create something new coming, okay? So I don't usually look at the death card as something bad, okay? So I'm just going to turn that back over so now I've got the top of my cards there. All right, so getting back to this. Whenever... I do my spread. I always trust her. Okay? I am all is what she says when I ask her a name. We we are all. I am all. Okay. So, who would you like me to use today? Let's start with the new big cards again. Okay. So, I've got the lovely cards by Louise Benton. I'll put it up so then if anyone does want to go over to her website, here it is, and it's also in the links down below if you click on the description. I like adding that because I love promoting Louise's work because she makes all the designs herself on all her cards. So I'll just flick through. There's heaps of cards in here. She does the artwork, and she also does these beautiful inscriptions on the back, which is all her own work, okay? All right, so let me just connect to my cards. 
Thank you. So we want one card today. Now, the intention of today's spread is a message that we all need, everybody on the planet, for the next week. Oh, my God. I already know this is going to be a doozy, guys, okay? Especially now I've just had the death card inverted upside down in front of me. Okay. So bring it on, guys. Okay. We need one card from Louise's deck that represents what I need for the next week, what the whole world needs for the next week, okay? And as I keep saying, guys, it may be something that we're doing at, that's just recognizing that we're doing. It may be something that we think, oh, my God, I'm not doing that. I need to show more of that, okay? Oh, my God, I didn't realize that that's the behaviors of people around me that I know. Do I want to be that person, okay? Um, do I want to amplify this more, okay? So this is a card that I'm asking the universe, because I'm multi-skilling as usual. Um, what can... what? does the universe want the whole world to hear right now just throw me out one card that represents what the world needs to hear right now right now for the next coming week i nearly got a few then that jumped out let's just see if this is going to work quickly come on oh oh and there it goes okay put my other cards away because i've got one here on the floor whoops let me just pull you out come out come out oh okay so I've got my card and I'll show you the artwork first so that you know that it's not um, sleight of hand here Louise actually creates all this artwork she's got a lovely website where she sells a lot of multitude of things okay go over okay now she's saying go for the little ones again I think this is the same order that we did it in last week so now I've got my little cards my little lovely ones okay one card that the whole world needs a message that the whole world needs to hear for this coming week one card that the whole world needs to hear for the coming week oh i'm going to take that one it's jumped it all right we've had that one before which is ironically so maybe we need to hear that message again okay now i've got my cards Universe, we need a message that the whole world needs to hear for the next week. Please show me out, throw me out one card that the whole world needs to hear for the next week. One card that represents what the whole world needs to hear for the next week. Oh, and there it is, it's on my lap. Okay, so here's my cards, and here's the one that just threw out. Oh, interesting card. Okay. So, when I do these, um, I'm just going to put these over there as well with my little baby ones. I love these little ones with the little dove flying because they're all love. They all start with the word love, those little cards. Okay, so let's start with Louise's first. It's the alignment card, so I'll put it up so you can see the lovely artwork. And before I start reading it, I'll just put it up here so if you do want to pause the screen. Now, the reason why I do this, guys, is so then you can read the message. And you might say, oh, this line here is what I need to hear. So pause the screen and read it through and see if there is something pertinent in there for your own lives, your own existences, how you're treating family, friends, co-workers, neighbours and all the others in your social circle. Could it be something that they're doing to you that you can identify? Is it something that you want to do or release? OK, so alignment. OK, here we go. Align yourself with soul's intention. Manifest dreams to heart's direction. Beyond the programming and manipulations. <laughs> the desires and the expectations. Now, didn't I just say that I'm going to do a video next week about expectations? I love it when they throw me a card that um, it confirms something I even said before I started the reading. Okay. Okay, beyond the programming and manipulations, the desires and the expectations, the illusions of the world will test at every turn on this great quest. Release the needs to always control. Wow. And allow the mystery of life to unfold. Resistance is a sign of for pause and reflection. Simplify and allow space for contemplation rekindle your magical playful spirit transcend the mundane reality that has been set awaken and see through the veils of deception 
Oh my God, I'm loving this one. That have kept us from knowing our divine emanation. Oh my God. Okay, I'm not finished yet. Envision a life of your own making. Break through this matrix of subordination. At all time, you are free to choose. Wow. And make your life your own creation. Down the bottom, it says, I am in alignment with my soul's intention for this lifetime. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I could sit here for six hours and interpret every single word on this card. You know, um, look at where we are on the planet. I'm going to put it up in case you want to pause and read it and make your own assumptions about where you are in your own existence right now. Okay. Wow. So that's the first one. The second card I got, my little dove one, love cries openly at sad movies. Love cries openly at sad movies. Wow. And then the last card is the two of swords. Now, don't just listen to what I say today, guys. Go get out your little Google or a Siri and just say, what does the Two of Swords mean in the Minor Ankara? Okay. Okay. Because we all have different perceptions, different realities. We all live unique and individual lives, correct? So when you go and research this for yourself, you're going to find something and it's just going to be like that truth bomb on you and go, wow, I, I needed to hear that today. Okay. So I'm just trying to find the swords in my book. Whoops. Pentacles, swords. Here we go. Two of swords. Okay. Two of swords. I have it. Okay. Boy, Louise Benton's cards. Am I going to say about a lot about that in a moment? But I want to read this one first. Now, this is from my book. Okay. That came with my tarot deck. Okay. The two of swords symbolizes a stalemate situation or one in which a deadlock exists. You may feel that you need to make a decision, yet you are unable to move one way or another due to feelings of confusion. We do not see the woman's hands, so it can be assumed that she is free to remove the blindfold herself. See how she's wearing a blindfold? Because she's in this stalemate. But inertia prevents her from doing so. You need to look at the situation logically and try a new approach to break this deadlock. There is always something that can be done. In the eyes of the universe, no decision is still a decision. So it's far better to take an active part in your destiny. So what is going on? right now all over the planet we're still getting this message to align ourselves to our true cases our true cause our true self the first one that's the first line align yourself with your soul's intention get past this three-dimensional world that we live in get past all these mandates lockdowns isolation mask wearing etc Think about who you truly are. Because that's another video that I've been working on doing this week. It's going to be called Values, Morals and Integrity. I've already started putting my notes together for for about a week now about what I want to talk about. Because right now we're all getting pushed past our limits where we apparently are being told it's our choice. But none of this is our choice, okay? Manifest dreams in the heart's direction. So this is where we have to stay passionate to who we are and what we want in our own futures, okay? If someone's telling you that you've got to do something to keep your job, consider, is that job something that you are totally passionate about? Is it worth having something done that we don't want to keep that position? Okay, that's what 
you know, it's all about in, our integrity, which is funny because I got messages the other day, Linda, you've got to do values, morals and integrity as a video. And then I got the one on expectations and I thought, well, coming up to Christmas, we all need to hear the expectations one first, right? Okay. Release the need to always control. Well, that comes under expectations because when we have an expectation, it means that we're trying to control the outcome. Okay. This is pure psychology 101. And it's stuff that I wrote about four years ago in my book called Heal to Success, which doesn't exist anymore because I've rehashed it into the teachings of heaven. Okay. So I wrote all the, about this like four years ago. Um, allow the mystery of life to unfold. Well, hello, life is a big mystery, isn't it? Who knows what anybody else is thinking and what they're doing? Resistance is a sign for pause and reflection. So this is where we've got to come out and be logical. This is where we rationalize and use critical thinking, guys. So this is the message today. Use our logic. Don't react with those knee-jerk reaction um, what I just say, K-R-A-P, that people do, okay? Most times we react, which is a knee-jerk reaction, because we have this emotion that stirs up this trigger, usually based on past events in our existence, where we don't want that to occur again, or we have to defend that behavior, okay? Because it can be both ways. So I'm going to explain all this in my video about expectations, because it's all about control, Okay, we try and control other people, other situations. So at the end of the day, we feel valuable and we feel wanted and loved and appreciated, treasured and adored and all the rest of it. Because, um, you know, with what's going on now with governments and authorities all around the planet, we're losing our self-worth. So this is virtually saying stay aligned to who you are in that self-worth. Stay who you are in that value value okay which is all our morals our values and integrity okay rekindle your magical playful spirit that means go back and look at who you were as a teenager and if you're a teenager now go back and realize what it is that you do want to be who is the person that makes up your body what do, what are their hobbies what are their interests and remember hobbies and interests are two different things okay I personally have an interest in classical cars. I love 66 um, Mustangs. I love all the 50s vintage cars. So I have an interest in that. But do I go out every Sunday and go to car shows? No, because that's my hobby if I did. My hobby would be if every weekend I go out fishing. You know, I used to own a yacht. So I fondly remember the weekends when I'd take my yacht out into the bay up near Redcliffe in Queensland. That was my hobby at that point, but now it's my interest because I don't do it anymore, okay? So hobbies and interests are two different things. So work out what your interests are, what picks that excitement when you think about it, you know? And then are you in a position where you can actually go and start doing that if you're not already doing it to make it that hobby, okay? So re rekindle all that magical stuff within us transcend the mundane reality that has been set now hasn't the government set this mundane existence for us my gosh how true are these cards today so transcend past this reality of the third dimension and go back into your fifth dimensional third eye intuition and really delve in and say is this what i want to be i want to be this person i want to be this behavior I want to be this characteristic or trait, okay? Envisage a life that you're of your own making. So this is where imagination comes in because what we think, we create. I learned this when I was in heaven in 2001. So think about where you want to be right now and then think about where you want to be in five or ten years' time. And you create it now in your energy, which is our emotion. So let's just say, I don't know, I want to live in a big villa in Vanuatu. So I say, okay, in 10 years time, I'm going to sell everything I own. I'm going to go to Vanuatu and I'll buy this villa on the beach. So what you do is you manifest that now into now. So you feel what it would be like walking on that beach. You feel that emotion you get 
when you look at that house and say, my God, this is mine. So we bring it back into the reality of now. This is how law of attraction works, by the way. Okay. So break through this matrix of subordination. <laughs> now tell me somebody on the planet who does not know what that means right now. Break through this matrix of subordination, segregation, discrimination, all these mandates, you can and can't do whatever. Break through that and you say to yourself, you know what? I am a sovereign person. I can do whatever my rules are. You cannot break that. Just because now you say I can't go to that place doesn't mean that I can't go to that place in my imagination because now I'm creating it so it is my reality. So we go back into that fifth dimension. Okay, guys? Break through this matrix. That means break through this three-dimensional world and create what we want. At any time, you are free to choose. Now, doesn't this come back to this card? At any time, you are free to choose. We've got a stalemate occurring where she is blinded to what's going on. But we are free to take off that blindfold and to create this reality of what we want. Okay? Do not allow others ever to tell you what to do. Okay? Love cries openly at sad stories. Well, oh, sad movies. Isn't this a whole movie being played out right now? Look at the actors. Look at the scripts that they're all saying. Do we want to participate actively with what they're doing? I hope you all say no. <laughs> okay? That's just my personal opinion. Okay? But at the end of the day, we're now in this, it's like, um, a stalemate they're on their side of the fence saying this is what we're going to ultimate um, our ultimatums if you do this we will let you do that now that's classic right now what's just happened in Brisbane if you get that you can go to these places so that's an ultimatum which comes down to controlling behaviors which is expectations which is always negative by the way okay so we get past these ultimatums and we get past this stag stalemate that we're at and we say to ourselves, you know what? You can try as much as you like, but at the end of the day, your words need mean nothing to me. Words have so much meaning. Words, everything that we say, is out there in the universe as an energy frequency. So if we say words that harm people, if we belittle people, if we gossip, that's actually creating negative energy that's then creating it in, in others too because it's all infectious and it's contagious. So the more that we send out loving, beautiful, attractive, mentoring, supportive and encouraging compliments to others, the more all this stuff can't align with us, alignment, and it simply cannot exist. So, sometimes there is always something to do that can be done. In the eyes of the universe, no decision is still a decision. I'll put it up here, guys, so you can read it. It's just down here. In the eyes of the universe, a decision is... No decision is still a decision. So what that means is we don't have to act out. We don't have to react. We don't have to accuse, judge, belittle, criticise, gossip... We hold that all in and we release it to the universe through this alignment that's happening. Okay? What we do is we say thank you. Thank you so much that you are showing me behaviours that I don't participate in. Thank you for showing me that you are somebody who I do not wish to associate with. 
It may be the government, your authority figures. It may be your work, your job, your employer, your co-workers. It could be even a social gathering that you go to, whether it's a church, um, Boy Scout group, soccer club, anything like that. It may be just your neighbours. Hey, I don't believe in your behaviour. It might be your friends or your family. But this week coming up, guys, this is where we stay true to ourselves and we stand in that alignment after we've worked out that there is a stalemate going on and it is, at the end of the day, all just a sad movie. So what's your part in this movie? Do you want to be one of the actors playing victim or do you want to be that hero of the story who stands up and says, no more, I will not take this? You know, it's really funny. Only yesterday I watched the Ten Commandments. It was on TV here in Australia. Noah, actually, I'm sorry, it wasn't Noah, it was Moses. He had this, he had this line, it was played by Charlton Heston, and he says, why me? I am just a slave. Now, if he can be put into such a position of greatness, why was he the one chosen? Because God, the universe, the angels, archangels, spirit guides, guardian angels, whoever this entity is, they saw something in him through that emotional connectivity. And they said, you are the one who is going to stand up and speak your truth. Something can to consider for the next week, guys. Ooh, I'm going to put this card back up. And while it's there, so you can pause the screen, go and Google what does the Two of Swords mean in your own life? What does the Two of Swords represent in your life? What is your stalemate at the moment? that you need to let go of, release or accept. And most of all, realise that there are so many movies being played out here at the moment. What's your part in that play? Are you just a stand-in? Are you just one of those ones that stand off on the side, an extra of the cast? Or are you one of the big players? Work it out, guys. Delve into yourselves whether you're the hero or the villain. Are you the one who saves the day? Or are you the one who stands by and does nothing? Because this is a self-reflection week. Coming up to Christmas, it is the silly season. Please look within yourself and do what is right by you. And if you want to hear more about this, Please stay by, stand by, because in a few days I'm going to do my expectations video. How we all have these expectations at Christmas. We expect things from others. And then plans generally do not go the way we have, we want them to. And that's what leads into depression. That's what leads to people having self-harm thoughts. That's why people start fighting and abusing their loved ones. Because it comes down to control and expecting something that others are just not capable of doing. So please know, guys, I love you all. I hope today's spread has meant something to you all. Um, talk to you all again soon. Stay safe. Stay in love with yourself and others. And most of all, click subscribe so you can watch this next video because it's going to be a doozy. Talk to you all again soon. Bye.